It's Umsum time! Why don't birds get electrocuted on power cables? Cause they wear shockproof shoes! <laughs> nah. Electricity is the flow of electrons through conductors. It always takes the easiest route. That is, electricity always flows through a path of least resistance. Now, the power cables through which electricity flows are made of copper. Copper offers least resistance and is a very good conductor of electricity. However, the bird's body offers greater resistance and is not a good conductor as copper. Hence, electricity ignores the bird and flows through the cables and birds don't get electrocuted. Besides this, electricity flows from its highest potential to its lowest. Now, the power cables usually run at different potentials. If birds feed are on the same power cable, then they are at same potential. Thus, the bird doesn't get electrocuted. However, when the bird touches two cables with different potentials at the same time, then electricity will flow through the bird to go to the other cable with a lower potential and the bird will get electrocuted. Why vultures don't uh -huh. get food poisoning? Because they go to regular yoga practice. Nah. Huh? Vultures are generally scavengers. They eat decaying or rotting flesh oh. of dead animals. But any decaying substance has many harmful oh. microbes which, if consumed, can make an animal or a human sick or even cause food poisoning. <laughs> However, vultures have a strong acid in their stomachs oh. that protects them from harmful microbes. But we also have acid in our stomachs, right? Indeed. But the acid in a vulture's stomach is much stronger than the acid ah. in a human stomach. It is so strong that the acid can even corrode certain metals. <laughs> Thus, when a vulture eats decaying or rotting flesh, the strong acid in its stomach destroys most of the microbes that can cause food poisoning and other health problems. Thus, keeping the vulture safe. Mm. Why is dry ice so dangerous? Maybe because it is made by devils. <laughs> nah. Dry ice is basically solid carbon oh. dioxide. The surface temperature of a dry ice block is about negative 78 degrees Celsius oh. or negative 109 degrees Fahrenheit. This means it is much cooler than ordinary <laughs> ice, which is made up of water. If dry ice comes in contact with our skin, our cells begin to freeze and die within seconds, thus giving us severe frostbite. In addition to this, Storing dry ice in airtight containers can be dangerous. But why? This is because dry ice sublimates. That is, it directly gets converted from solid state to gaseous state. Hence, in airtight containers, the gas produced can build up and exert pressure on the walls of container, which can lead to a dangerous explosion. Mm. Why do birds need gravity to swallow food? Maybe because they are fans of Newton. No. When humans eat food, it enters into a muscular organ called food pipe or esophagus. In the esophagus, a series of contraction and relaxation takes place that pushes or moves food towards the stomach. This movement is called peristalsis. Dude, why do you use such complicated names? Oh, please listen. In most birds, such peristaltic <laughs> movement doesn't take place in their esophagus. Hence, oh. they need to depend on gravity to push their food through the esophagus. When a bird eats its food, the bird lifts or tilts its head up and with the help of its tongue, it directs the food towards the throat. Then, the gravitational force of Earth causes the food to slide down into a pouch called crop, thus helping the bird to swallow its food. Ah.